get it on now. Ready. Ready or act this shit. What's up, friends? It's J Maxwell. Welcome back to my channel. This is J Max. We accidentally continue with the Queen of the Ratchet podcast. This is episode 33. Let's see what happens. This episode of Queen of the Ratchet is being sponsored by Dead Beats. One day you'll step up and try to take care of your kids. We're okay. also being sponsored by sperm donors because that's what majority of these men are anyway. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, ooh, shimmy, hey. It's a day's night out. Let's turn up, pay, pay. You ain't heard about me. I'm a wretched ass queen. I'm shady as hell. Now go and have a seat. That song <laughs> is called Let's Get by Pay Pay Showster. It's a new song that Queen of the Ratchet will be featured on. Okay. You can listen to that song on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, title any musical streaming service you like go get your life and we're back when you do legendary stuff the crowd will miss you when you're gone i'm coella the bill from disney's coella the self-entitled movie we gave you plenty of time to catch up but a lot of you influencers just want to imitate and not create your own lane I'm Medusa from Disney's The Rescuers. It's Pride Month, and my pronoun doesn't matter to your man, so why should it to you? I'm Ursula from Disney's The Little Mermaid. We're rested, rejuvenated, and feeling all types of petty. <laughs> it's time to shut all these bitches up. Okay. I'm Tremaine from Disney's Cinderella. Yes, we went on a hiatus because guess what? We can do that. But at the end of the day, if you've been following Queen of the Ratchet on all social media accounts, you know we haven't really been on a hiatus. Listen, petty audience, just turn your notifications on on all social media accounts and you won't be looking like a dry-faced hoe. Speaking of dry-faced hoes, I think Regina Damn. from Snow White is the <coughs> most Cruella. Allegedly. Make sure you say allegedly. You know that evil wart will sue us for defamation of character. I just spoke to Regina yesterday. She is minding her business and paying you bitches no mind. But she has been MIA, and that doesn't look right coming from a nosy hoe like herself. You got too many bitches around you calling themselves your friend, you need to check your inner circle before you check anybody else. Okay. Um, Tremaine, I think that was a dig in me, but you need to dig into your own past with Koala before you start digging into mine, bitch. A defensive hoe will always expose herself. And a uh -oh. bald headed one will always be edgeless. How about that? <laughs> y'all really came with y'all petty skills intact. I think the petty audience is loving every moment of it. What I have to ask is, is why did Queen of the Ratchet take a break for such a god dang on long time? Mental health, joy, and peace of mind. A lot of these mm -hmm. bitches don't know me, but at the end of the day, that's what's important over here. Exactly. We can't be petty 24-7. Speak for yourself, Herbie Puss. I could be petty 365 days out of the year, okay? I just needed to take a little break. And ain't nothing wrong with breaking. Y'all got plenty of videos to keep y'all entertained. Half of them ain't even caught up with the storyline, and they don't even know that Koala is president of Fairytale Land. Or that they, there's a mole in her inner circle trying to assassinate her. It's because you need some fresh kitty up in this bitch. It's been giving rotten sardines for far too long. Ooh. I'll shut up, boo, bye. Yes, mate, you run your mouth far too much to not have a busted one. And you open your legs far too much to not know there's not a stench coming out of them. <coughs> Close them in the name of Jesus. Oh, shana na bye. Look, the pain no. today is on another level, and I think I know why. <laughs> it's because it's about to be Queen of the Ratchets' birthday, June 23rd. Well, what the hell are we going to do for the birthday spectacular this year? I say we give them another podcast, a petty <coughs> audience love that and in return they can put some ties and offering in our cash app box to take care of our bills next month oh shut up boo bye as long as you're not the person in charge of the ties and offering box we know how your gripping hands like to get oh. big yes send all the cash apps to dollar sign joshua gilliard baby it's so tacky to ask for money on your birthday we going through a pandemic right now hoes well call me a tacky tactile bitch then because that's what i'll be <laughs> oh shut up boo bye let's take a break i'm internationally known i'm Oh, it is. Collaboration.
Conversations with the rapper Bobo Sango. You can listen to that song on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, Tidal, any musical streaming service you like. Go get your lot. And we're back. I know the petty audience is enjoying themselves, but listen, we have a birthday spectacular to plan for, okay? And though we have been on a long hiatus, there is more to come on the Queen of the Ratchet podcast and the Queen of the Ratchet storyline. Even though your whole storyline is based on you being a doormat to Coella, but hey, Damn. go for it, bitch. Do you. Okay. Tomato, tomato, ho. Tremaine, you haven't had a storyline for how you a relevant bitch. Anyway, to the petty audience, there's more stuff that you could be following when it comes to Queen of the Rat. We have a new show called Boys to Gay that you all should be checking out right now. Not only that, but if you're following on every social media platform, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, you can be sure to keep up with all the shade that we throw. Again, we want to thank you all for supporting and following us for so long. But before we go, I want to ask the petty audience a question. Who do y'all think the mole is? Comment below and make sure that you're following everything that's Queen of the Ratchet. Till next time. <laughs> I don't know who the mole is in that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Well, let me know your thoughts on it below. Comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, peace.